What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me for episode 26 of Let's Nerd with NWNEE. In this episode, we're going to explore the Howling Forest and Promise. Now, the cat's out of the bag here. First things first. You know whose journal I think this is? I think this journal belongs to someone in Glythe. Someone in Glythe who didn't want to talk about a certain door in the region. With his two weapon fighting. Oh, he doesn't have anything to talk about. Yes, I think it belongs to Yoshimo here, if that is indeed Yoshimo. Because I figured he didn't want to talk about the door, and he tried to erase his memories of that. I figured that was his journal, and it still possibly could be. And he purposely tried to blot out the pages. Similar to how he doesn't want to recall the story about the strange door, so we're gonna go here and I think I need rope. I think I, I think you can buy rope and glide. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. We're here in the howling forest. Looking for a pit. Okay, it's not that pit. Maybe there's rope in the chest of this house here. So apparently there was a chest in here that I missed. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Zako's chest. Go. Oh, stuck behind the door. Open the door, bro. Get in there. Come check out this chest. Lock. Let's pray I can open it. Oh, specific item. Get out of here. The pit, I believe, was this way. I checked that crate, right? I think there was dyes and stuff in it. Yeah, and a skin. I think if we go this way, we'll find the pit. There's the pit. All right, what did the journal say exactly? Way too bad and worn as it was as it, if soaked and dried ten times. With difficulty, you read some words about a monastery and a forest. Unreadable. The writer of this diary took pains to give some hints about a deep pit near the building. Maybe it should be worth looking at that if you haven't done already so. This, I believe, is the deep pit. But I haven't found a monastery. I found a bridge and a shack. But I haven't found a monastery. Of 
I'm going to have to get some answers and glide about this. This is not over. But a forest monastery. I don't, I don't see a monastery. So it could be a different forest completely. It could be talking about the Ranger, Ranger Bane Forest. Which we could probably explore today. But I want to do some stuff in Glive. Militiamen. All right, it's beautiful. Will this tailor say anything? Where is the tailor? Are you getting along in Glyph? Thanks, we are fine. If I may speak on behalf of the other residents, is that all? Or yes, what else should I tell you about that? Uh, bye. Whoops. So we'll go sell, and once morning comes, we'll try to find some more information. What is that? Glowing, is that something? Headstone. The engravement reads Vegna Glarak. There's also a simple portrait of a dwarven woman. Hmm. Glarak sounds familiar. Is that the name of the dwarf? Cousin? I believe so. Whoops, I have to put Do Not Disturb on. Whoa, who's all sleeping in here? James Wreath, Mina Wreath, boy and girl. Jarnus, see you later. She's sleeping. This isn't where I wanted to be. I wanted to go trade. This is the trader's house. No? General shop. Won't open 24 7. I greet you. Alright. So let's see what we've got. We've got the helm headband of the binder. I can get 600 for it. Speedcraft and lore. Well, first of all, let me exit out of here and put on my appraisal gloves. Greater gloves. Now let's see what we can get for that. 665. So, lore and spellcraft plus four. What does spellcraft actually do again? Used to identify spells and to perform counter spells. A successful check means the character has identified a spell being cast on an opponent. The DC of this check is equal to 15 plus spell level. The character also gains a plus one for every five ranks in this skill. So, 
I could give that whoops. I could give that to Sago. Or I could sell it for six hundred. I think I will sell it for six hundred. I greet you. No. Actually, that spellcraft performing counter spells, that's gonna be important. I'll give it to Sago. Okay. We have more though. I think I can sell the moon on a stick. Only 105 for it. Let's get rid of the leather. The comma plus one. It's a monk weapon, not a druid weapon. Or exotic. I don't think anyone has exotic ability. Um, so we're going to sell the comma plus one. We're going to sell the magic bag because it only gives a 20% decrease on the weight. And we don't really need another bag when I can get 190 for it. Gloves of the Rogue, 663. Moon on a stick. For that price, I might as well keep the moon on a stick. I've got a copper necklace. I've got the bone ring for 2,000 immune to level ability drain. That is pretty good. But if only one character is immune to it, is it really that special? Okay, we've got Ikor to sell for one. We've got a Sanadine for 14. Smoky Quartz for 21. Two Violines for 14. Three Lapis Lazuli for 108. Two Fleurus Bar for 72. An Inventorine for 14. Rock Crystal for 14. Laurel's Tears for 288. Sard for 36. Jet for 72. Blood Tone for 36. Wow, nice haul for gems. And we quietly have 3,500 gold. And I'm going to sell this bone ring, I think. Should I sell it? Mm. She does have a Dwarven War Axe plus one. Long arms way out of our reach. Eagle bow. The medium sized bow. Attack bonus is a plus three bow. And a bonus to search and spot. That's pretty sweet. But I think I can get more bang for my buck. By spreading the money out more than spending it all on one thing. Do you have Cat's Grace? She doesn't. Well, first things first, we're going to buy the Dwarven War Axe plus one. And we're going to give that to Neighbor. Simple upgrade. Use a potion of speed. Let's grab that. Put it in the potion bag. Doesn't fit. Put it in the large box. Oh, he's got a club plus, plus one, but he chose to use the Dwarven War Axe. Let's take the club back. 
We could use a shield if she's got one. Greater Gauntlets of Ogre, Power Strength, plus two. Let's sell what we've got here. Sell the Dwarven War Axe. 43. Club plus one for 1166, but who? I know Feniel can use a uh, can use that, but I told her to stick to her ranged weapon, so the club. Drano uses a short sword. Lamir uses a flail right now. Actually, let's give the club to Lamir. This is probably an upgrade for him. And we'll sell the flail. How much for the gloves of greater appraisal? 373, so they're not really worth the sell. Why didn't I sell the magic bag? How do I sell it? Okay. Well, let's see what's in the scroll case. Scrolls. Potion bag, potions. Gem bag is empty. This magic bag we keep instruments in and ammo. Speaking of which, put that in there. Alright, chime of opening, third level knock. Charges of third level knock. Uh, I can pretty much pick locks up to a third level knock. So let's sell that. Oh, flame drum. Amplify, which gives a plus 20 to listening checks. We're going to sell that. Horn of blasting. In theory, sounds good, but a bard could perform much better with it. I am rather weak with it. It doesn't really work for me. So for 3,402, we're going to sell it. And the Sturdy Banjali. Wow, I can get almost 7,000 for this. Bull Strength level 10. I have to start remembering to use this. I'm not selling that. But I have to use it. Alright, and that leaves us with the bone ring. I would want... Hmm. You know what, let's sell the bone ring. I don't know about the bone ring yet, let's see what she has. Ragged robe. Plus two armor. Let's see what Sago is wearing. Sago's garment. Plus one and plus one to strength. And Finial. Call lightning level one and disarm. she has. Why are you walking away from us? I greet you. Let's see what some of these cloaks are of the high forest. Plus two AC, only usable by druid. Plus two AC deflection. Fortitude plus one. Cloak of Resistance plus two, Universal Saving Throws plus two. 
Nymph Cloak plus two, Charisma plus two. Plus two, Deflection modifier. Elven Kind, Hide plus ten. Split Mail. Usable by Druid plus two and Flame Lash on hit level one. Gauntlets of Greater Ogre Power, Strength plus two. All right, so. Let me quick save here. And I'm going to buy Cloak of Protection plus two. And of course I could wear that, but only get one of that. Because I have a deflection bonus already. But I can give that to, let's see. Mamer. Oh, he's immune to ability level drain. And he uses his leather armor. Alright, so let's check out Lamir. Ring of Strength and an Amulet of Natural Armor, so he could benefit from the cloak. Taking it to 23. But that would take him to 23, which is very nice. Toronto, I feel. No, he's got a cloak of protection. He's at a 19. Why is he using a basic short sword over his short sword plus one? Give me that. He's at a 19. Sago is at a 14. He could certainly use a plus two cloak the most. 16 for him. could get one for Fennial. Her AC is horrifically low. 13. But I'm kind of leaning towards the gauntlets of, of greater gauntlets of ogre power for someone like Maber. Ten coal resist universal saving throws plus two. These are unique gauntlets here. Mm. What else does she have? I'm good on healing kits at the moment. We have the warrior can't afford that. Long arm, I can't afford that. Plus three bow would be very nice.
what's in my ammunition bag 80 arrows of ice 60 bolts I need more arrows plus two or flame arrows fire arrows to deal with trolls we'll buy those and put them in the gem bag yeah I'm already below what unless I sell the bone ring we're going to swap this bone ring for these gauntlets of greater ogre power boom and the gauntlets are going to go to Maver actually yeah they're going to go to Maver Now, we are pretty thoroughly decked. I need one more thing from her. And I'm officially set. One more stash of plus two arrows for the stash. This bag is not full. Alright, so it's probably daytime by now. That was a very nice haul, all things considered. We got significantly better. Maybe it's very dangerous now with this plus one more axe. We can possibly try to fight the Werecats now. Well, let's walk around Glythe and try to find the captain and Yoshimo's girlfriend. This is the mayor's house. No purpose being in here. Just trying to remember where the captain is. I don't think he's in the barn. He's not at the tailors. Is he here? Nice house. him I'd have to take out all his dogs too there's puppies there man so that's not good I can only hope that that journal maybe belongs to the his girlfriend. I mean, I don't know at this point. Oops. Let's head back and cure him of his disease. 
That disease is a long one. Pause it. How can I cure his disease? Medicine? No. didn't seem to cure his disease. Maybe we'll rest and cure it? servant girl hmm. well my leads are kind of doing too well here and I'm behind the door again only me coming through I don't want to quick save till I see what that disease does Go attempt to kill the half orcs. Or how about Ranger Bane Forest? Which I believe featured. Get him. Let me heal up Fennial, see if that takes care of our disease. It does, so let me just heal up Sago. He's got nine hit points. He's level one. Or is that the disease? No, he's got nine hit points. And fennel has got 30. So we've got to level up Sago. Like you to level up. I don't have the gold. <laughs> no wonder he dies so soon. He's a level one mage. Level two at best. We didn't give really this forest a chance. Whoa. Traps galore. Oh, snap. Yeah. 
we're not gonna last. Nope, one mirror died. I feel like maybe I should have used that money to level people up and not really buy gear. I'll definitely have to level them up next time. definitely give that to oh here they come they just come John was in there badly wounded I gotta save his butt mobbers in there badly wounded I gotta save his butt Sango died. I could have really made a mistake. I'm not going to the Ranger Bane Forest by buying that gear instead of leveling them up. Because they're going to need hit points and stuff to withstand and new spells. And what. We'll, what was in here? The cave entrance? I think there was trolls in that cave. If I'm not mistaken. Let's go one place we haven't been yet. And that's Dragon Tooth Chasm. Even Maybear is only, it's not a very high level, maybe level 4 I believe. Oh jeez. Sago died. I think we can handle these guys. Let's use this on my mirror, Ashby. Bull strength of a very high level, 10th level. Once in a bless, and let's go get him. And is now reside in hell. Hmm. Didn't think to come this way, and it seems to be the easiest way we can go. Regular bandits, I mean, 
come on. Oh, and those were the bandits that we had to deal with to... To, um... Take care of for the mayor. 300 gold and life giving fruit. Resurrection level 13, a single use. And they also could be sold for quite a bit. There's more there. Sound burst. 10 gold. So let's continue this way. And this seems to be a way we can make progress. Aha. I see where we're at. No, I think it was the half-orc bandits we have to take care of. Not actually those bandits. Why can't I go on? There should be a bridge built here. Chasm. I found a deep chasm near Glide. There's no bridge over it. I should know more about this. Is this the deep pit in the forest that the book referred to? Alright, well we've got some leads to go on. Let me see how much time I've been recording. 4307, hmm. We're about end, end of the road here. life-giving fruit though as badly as I want to sell them for about 5,000 or so I could get for them could prove invaluable to making progress if Sago or someone dies know about that chasm? Hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm moving. Can we head into the mayor's and see if the mayor appears now that I killed those bandits? defeated the rogues. Yes, I did. Was it difficult? Yes, it was very difficult. Yet you live. I'm very glad someone eliminated those ruffians. Fifty XP for talking to her, so something triggered with that. I've got to go see the captain. I could do that in this episode. Go through the door. Oh, Captain.
captain, my captain. Still making progress. Captain, my good captain, will you reward me? Well met. Greetings, bandit slayer. Would the cartographer know about the chasm? Would Glide the giant, the friendly giant, know about it? Hello. Tenuous strings. Would the ranger who's grieving in the forest know about it? In any event, we're going to have to stop here figure all that out in the next episode. Let me see if Sago can now be leveled up. Greetings, friend. Not Fenny, old Sago. Hello, and welcome. Cost 900, very well. Money well spent. I'm down to 42, but I did pick up. Suzelle's Pearl to sell, but also, didn't I pick up an actual item? I thought I picked up something expensive. No? A life-giving fruit. Hmm. I picked up an item to sell. Anyway, thanks for watching. And the next episode is going to be Tenuous Strings to follow. Peace out, everybody.